Pimax has been shaping the future of VR technology since 2015, and they're not playing it safe. While most brands have aimed for mass market gear, Pimax doubled down on high end, pushing tech boundaries with the first 4K, 8K, and even retina level headsets. And guess what? That gamble paid off. They now hold hundreds of patents in display and optical tech. Talk about leading the pack. Just recently, the Shanghai-based company secured a massive 100 million yen C1 Plus funding round, one of China's biggest VR investments in 2024. Zhuji Jingchuang Rong Investment led the charge. Not sure I said that right, but you get it. With Ivy Capital continuing their support. This couldn't have come at a better time either, as Pimax's revenue has reportedly doubled every year for the last three years. Wild, right? The new funding is set to supercharge their global expansion, with new R&D hubs planned in the US and Europe. And it makes sense. 80% of Pimax's customers are outside of China. They're clearly going all in on international growth. Now, let's talk hardware. In 2024, Pimax rolled out not one, but three new headsets, Crystal Light, a high-res headset designed for comfort and accessibility. Crystal Super, the world's first retina-level VR device. Yeah, it's that sharp. Dream Air, the world's most compact 8K headset, blending power with portability. The Crystal Light is already available and gaining attention, while the Crystal Super and Dream Air are up for pre-order. And speaking of Crystal Super, it made quite the splash at CES this year. If you haven't seen the demo yet, check out Linus Tech Tips coverage. It's seriously impressive. Each of these headsets cater to different audiences. The Crystal Light is perfect for sim racers wanting solid PC VR performance. The Crystal Super? It's the flagship beast with swappable optical engines and a ridiculous 57 PPD resolution. Then there's the Dream Air, nearly identical to the Crystal Super under the hood, but designed for ultra portability. So. What makes Pimax thrive when premium headsets like the MetaQuest Pro got axed? The key lies in targeting distinct customer groups. Meta struggled to justify that high price tag for a more general audience. But Pimax? They're laser-focused on professional users and high-end enthusiasts who need cutting-edge performance. Consider architecture firms, automotive designers, and even medical training. Compared to the Quest Pro, Pimax headsets crush it with nearly triple the resolution a much wider field of view, and faster refresh rates. It's all about catering to users who need performance over price. Pimax is clearly playing a long game here, and it seems to be working. What do you think? Can they keep leading the charge in high-end VR? Drop your thoughts in the comments below, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more such interesting videos. Peace.